Hi guys, so please excuse the lighting and like the noise. <clears throat> I'm downstairs and I'm going to teach you how to make gelatin. Gelatin is used for special effects. It's not jello. It's um, ooh, it's hot. Um, I'll put a picture of what gelatin to buy and then I just keep mine in here. I have like that much left. I'm going to show you how to make it with this. And then you need glycerin, and then you need water. It doesn't have to be like distilled water or like anything special. But if you are allergic to liquid latex and you can't use it, you can give gelatin a try. It is a little bit harder to work with, but I mean, it's awesome because it looks like skin. Like you don't have to try to make it look like skin like latex. And this is also if like you want to do it. Um, the only other thing you're going to need is an a popsicle stick because if you stir it with the spoon it might get like all attached to it and then your mom might yell at you like mine did um and then lastly when you make gelatin just like this it does smell it has a smell it smells weird so i would recommend you using any like um lotion that you have this is my favorite so i'm going to show you with this so hang tight and i will be right so my recommendations are use a glass bowl and um it's because when it sticks, you can actually, like, let me see if I can do it here. Okay, I just dumped my finger in gelatin. Look at that. So, let me see if this works. It just peels off, and then there's nothing sticky there on my thumb anymore. It's like a booger. It's a weird thing to compare it to, but that's what, it, it's, what it's like. So... <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and come up in here. I'm just going to use it all. Just You guys know I never measure. I never measure anything with my hair. It just comes out. Okay, so that's how much gelatin we have to play with. So, I'm going to put about one tablespoon, well, this tablespoon. This is a Texas size spoon of water. So, that and then we'll just throw in some glycerin glycerin isn't anything special you can find it at like walmart um i found mine if you live in texas i found mine in h-e-b so you're just gonna stir it until it turns into this kind of like color it looks really gross but i'm gonna show you guys a tutorial afterwards on how to use it and then there's a big tutorial coming up um, I'm sorry I've been lacking on the Halloween videos, it's just, I go to school every day, and then work after that, and then the only times I'm off is Saturday, but I go to school on Saturday, and then Sunday, it, it's just like, I'm fucked over the whole time. But, you guys understand, and I love you guys for, like, hanging tight with me. Um, but I'm gonna put out some more Halloween videos, I do have some in mind that I'm going to do. Some of them include glycerin, and some of them include latex, so I hope that this is something that you people who are allergic to liquid latex can use, and, um, yeah, I hope you like it. So now that that looks like that, I'm going to go ahead and throw it into the microwave. I'm going to put it for about two minutes. It's not really going to take two minutes. It's going to be a little... It'll speed up. My microwave is, like, really, really hot, or, like, it gets really, really hot. Oh yeah, I dyed my hair blue. It's like, um, peacock blue. But, so, I'm so sorry you guys, you haven't seen my hair transformations. I was black, went to brown, went to red, went to black, went to blue. Well, somewhat. I'm gonna probably do all of it blue, except for the sides. I'm gonna leave that black. But anyways, back to this. Damn. Grab a glove, because it is hot. And, oh, maybe it's not that hot. Perfect. So, there you have gelatin, a.k.a. skin. Because it looks like skin and you can use it like skin. So, I'm going to use this spoon because I really don't care. You can use a spoon or a popsicle stick as long as you don't, as long as it's something your mom's not going to care if you mess up. Um, so this is gelatin. Um, like I, like I said, it does smell, 
So I am going to show you how to take that away. This is something that you're going to want to do if you're wearing gelatin all night, like say you make a mask or something. If you're going to wear this all night, you want to make sure that you like take out the smell because it's going to give you a headache or you're going to just be like gagging the whole time. We don't want to know that. So this is Country Apple by Bath and Body Works. So I'm just going to throw in about that much. So you can see that there. It's not going to affect it, it's going to tone down the smell. So, I mean, it might make it a little bit smoother no, smoother to work with, but yeah. So here we have. And then you see, like, it's a little hot. So if you're going to do this on somebody else, I recommend you, like, taking a little bit and just throwing it on your hand. And then just, you test it before you put it on somebody, and you test it on yourself. I'm so sorry. You want to test it on yourself before you touch your face because if you do touch your face and it's really, really hot, you're going to burn yourself and you might like turn red or have a reaction or something. You don't want to know that. Trust me. You don't want to know that. So, like I said, just make sure that it is okay for you to work with. And as soon as you put it somewhere, just make sure you let it set. Don't play with it because you're going to create indentions and I will show you all of this. So, I'm going to go ahead and just add this into here. And then we'll go ahead and do a little video. Also, um, lastly, I would recommend that if you're going to use this for Halloween, make sure you buy spirit gum and spirit gum remover. Because it's not really going to stick with anything. I mean, it'll stick by itself, but it's not going to stay. So, I'm going to let that cool and then I'll peel it off. And I'll show you guys how cool it is. So give me one second and let me set up for makeup. So the only difference from buying blood versus making your own blood, when you make your own blood, you can make as much as you want. Um, when you buy blood, you get whatever's in the, whatever ounce is in the bottle. Um, also, that blood cannot be used in the mouth. This blood that we are going to make out of cornstarch, I mean corn syrup and um, dye is, you can put it in your mouth. Um, the only problem is, is with that one, it's not sticky and with this one, it is sticky. So, I mean, there's, it's got its ups and downs. But, um, if you're doing any, like, zombie or, like, Dracula or, like, any kind of, like, thing where blood, like, it requires blood to come out of your mouth, this is really good. Um, it doesn't stain, or it doesn't, it hasn't stained me. And I've been able to make, like, big batches because this stuff is really cheap. And you can buy a lot of this stuff. And, you know, it's fun. So... Let's get started. I have the same bowl. Everything's taken out of it. I'm just going to start pouring some corn syrup. And right about there, I filled up the whole bottom of the bowl. So with blood, it's tricky. The only thing is, depending on how much red you make, it'll look really um, like fake. And depending on how much blue you make, it'll look really purple. Because these are two um, dominant colors dominant pigments and if you mix them they're going to create purple so you have to just be careful and watch what you're doing i normally put like seven red drops and then two blue drops but let's see what we get here one two three four five six seven okay there's the red let me mix it just so you can see it guys take here all this gelatin on this popsicle stick. You're gonna use it. Okay. Get off, please. So that's what it looks like with the red guy. Now, if you mix it, if you just use red, it doesn't look as real because look at that, it looks pink. So, now let's add two blue drops. One, two. And three. Now, let's add two red drops. Three. Okay, now let's add one more. Three. Okay, let's add one more. Okay, let's add it does look a little bit purple, do you see that? You don't see that. Do you see that? It looks a little too purple, so let me go back in with the red. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna try to run that blue out. Okay, that looks more blood color. So it worked out in the end. Don't ever be scared because whenever you put too much blue, you can always put more red and it'll work out. You know what I mean? So, let's get started with this tutorial then. I did 
bring foundation that is in my shade because to make it look like real skin you're going to want to use some foundation and then I have that blood and then I brought two cream body paints the red isn't really needed depending on how um, how you made blood but the black is needed to add to make um, depth to create like depth and dimension in your cut so let's just go ahead and reheat this reheat this gelatin up and then we'll start with the tutorial I have a lot of gelatin. This was probably like two or three boxes of the gelatin individual. I put it all in that big container and then I warmed up a lot of it and I used a lot of glycerin. That's why I only had like that much like little ball here and it gets bigger the more gelatin that's in there and it looks like a heart. Um, I also didn't tell you guys how I store my, my gelatin. I keep it in the freezer because it prolongs its life. It's not going to melt anywhere, and it's, like, cleaner, safer, and, you know, it's in the freezer. You know where it's at. You're not going to lose it. Here's an ice cream bowl. <clears throat> and I'm just going to go ahead and start pouring some gelatin in here. If you always, if you make too much, guys, um, it's actually okay. Like I said, you can peel it off and store it in a different Ziploc bag and just mark it as your skin color. Um, I actually made some red gelatin that I put, uh, that I stored in the fridge, I mean the freezer. I'll show you guys. So this is what this looks like with my, with my foundation in it. It smells like apple. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit just so it cools down. So this is the icy part. You can eat gelatin. I wouldn't recommend it. And I wouldn't recommend it if you put, um, lotion in it. You don't send yourself to the hospital and we don't need none of that. So, I know this is cool so I'm just gonna go ahead and place it on my arm. Okay, okay, okay. Just keep going, just keep going. I actually freaked out, just a little, a little story here. So when I first learned how to do this, I actually did it on my sister. I was going to my dad who was freaking out. He didn't know what it was. He thought I actually like cut it or something. But I didn't. So, as you guys can see, there's a little cut on my arm. Um, let it sit, like I said, don't mess with it because you will cause wrinkles more than what it already has. I placed with the spoon, I marked out where I wanted to do these, the cut. So I don't know if you guys can see that, let me see. Give me a second. There's a line right here. You see it right there. That big line is where I'm going to make the cut. Um, I like them in scissors. Okay, so now we have flaps. This is really cool because when you do this, people are like, oh my god! And you're like, why? It's a cut. So I'm gonna put it on my hand. I have a foundation brush here that I never use, so I'm gonna use it for it. It's going to be this one. So just throw some cream makeup. If you have cream makeup or grease makeup or whatever you wanna use, you can use Mayor on Paradise Paint. It really doesn't matter. Don't, you don't have to get all expensive here because it's going to work and you're just going to want to fill it in. Just get some more and throw it in there. Just like that. You see now we have a cut. Now we have a cut. Now you're going to want to get some blood and slowly fill it in there, in the little crevices. Do you see that? Do you see that? We are making love here. Now you can start pouring it on your arm. Like you just had a freak accident.
I love doing this stuff because it freaks people out. There you go. There's your cut. Ah. You can literally freak the crap out of your parents with this. Just make sure that you're careful with the corn syrup because I'm pretty sure that it does stick to fabrics. So if you have like cur um, carpet and stuff, you're going to want to be careful. But there we go, guys. We have a cut. So I hope you guys like this. I hope this works out for you guys who um, aren't able to use liquid latex. I'm going to go ahead and peel this off for you in a second, but I have to Snapchat it. So if you're not following me on Snapchat, follow me on Snapchat. I'll put the name right here. Give me a second. 